everyone this is knowledge topper and in this particular video we try to briefly discuss and understand the concept related to life cycle costing like uh, what is life cycle costing what is the purpose related to life cycle costing as well as uh, i have a very good example for you guys so we will understand this with the help of an example as always but before moving towards the main if you didn't subscribe my channel knowledge topper yet please do subscribe my channel knowledge topper as well as like our facebook page and do join our facebook group as well you will find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well so let's get into this video as written on your screen life cycle costing or whole life costing it is the process of uh, estimating how much money you will spend on an asset over the course of its useful life remember uh, in this uh, we are uh, in life cycle costing we will consider uh, the cost related we will consider the costing related to uh, a particular asset uh, on the basis of uh, its useful life or on the basis of its whole useful life okay we will consider uh, the future cost as well uh, so whole life costing or uh, life cycle costing it covers an assets cost from the time you purchase it to the time you get rid of it uh, not just uh, buying an asset okay because just just buying an asset it is just a commitment it is it is just the cost commitment that extend beyond the price tag okay like for example think of a car like there's an example for you guys suppose there are two cars and uh, car a uh, has a price of two lakh dollars as well as car b who has uh, also the price uh, uh, tag of uh, two lakh dollars but uh, uh, if you compare both of them and um, compare other features of a car so both has uh, similarities okay but uh, when it comes to uh, future so you have to be so conscious uh, like uh, there is fuel consumption you have to see uh, whether how much uh, uh, it cost how much your fuel consumption will cost or any other future cost that uh, uh, will uh, incur uh, while um, using that asset so as you can see in our example car a consume uh, two dollars per kilometer of fuel and uh, car b is uh, consuming 3.5 dollar per kilometer so you can see there's a there's a hell of a difference uh, wh wh when we compare both of uh, two uh, like uh, uh, in in terms of uh, future cost it is just 1.5 dollar per kilometer but when it comes to uh, the life of a particular asset the life of, of a car you can multiply with uh, uh, like uh, thousands of liters so it it can be so different when we see like uh, just to purchase a car there is no similarity but when we consider future cost uh, we can see there are a lot of differences okay so uh, like the car's price tag is only the part of the car's overall life cycle cost but you also need to consider expenses for car like insurance expenses their interest expense like if you purchase your car on credit and uh, uh, you, you must uh, consider gas like fuel consumption and uh, uh, like oil change consumption and uh, any other necessary maintenance to keep the car running uh, like not planning for these additional cost uh, can set you back so uh, this is one of the plus point uh, while uh, using life cycle costing now while calculating life cycle costing you may find uh, these kinds of uh, expenses uh, uh, in your questions or uh, in your scenarios so uh, these all are uh, some major expenses uh, that uh, you may find uh, in your uh, scenarios like uh, the purchase price of a particular asset installation cost of a particular asset operating expenses of a particular asset maintenance expenses of a particular asset financing uh, like uh, interest uh, rates or interest cost etc uh, like uh, depreciation is also there disposal uh, of a particular asset so these all are uh, the particular expenses uh, that you may found now here is an example for you guys uh, as i already discussed with you like uh, uh, when it comes to the cost of a particular asset uh, uh, it shows uh, another picture and uh, when we compare that with future cost it shows another picture so here's an example for you guys let's say you want to buy a new photocopy machine for your business and the purchase price of that machine is twenty five hundred dollars okay 
uh, installation like you spent uh, an additional $75 for the setup and delivery uh, operating expense like you need to buy ink cartridges and paper for it so you estimate like uh, you will spend $1000 on these supplies over the course of its useful life and you expect the total electricity the photocopy machine will use to be $300 okay uh, maintenance is obviously there like uh, if the photocopier machine breaks you estimate repairs will total for fifty dollars and um, there is uh, financing like if you purchase the photocopy machine like uh, with your uh, credit card uh, which is an in interest rate of 3.5 percent per month you pay off the printer like uh, the next month meaning you owe 87.50 uh, dollars in interest like two two thousand five hundred multiplied by three point five percent uh, depreciation you predict the photocopy machine will lose value by 150 dollars each year uh, disposal amount to like uh, you estimate it will cost hundred dollars to hire an independent contractor to remove the photocopy photocopy machine so if you can see the purchase price uh, only like uh, it is just two thousand five hundred dollars but uh, when it comes to the future cost like the life cycle cost of the photocopy machine could end up costing your business over four thousand five hundred dollars so there is hell of a difference between uh, two of them that's why we say uh, we, we we must uh, consider to calculate uh, uh, the life of a particular we must consider uh, the cost related to life cycle costing uh, and it helps companies uh, uh, to understand uh, the clear picture uh, life cycle costing uh, it impacts like uh, when when you use life cycle costing uh, uh, the asset you purchase uh, uh, it shows to, like uh, the amount uh, uh, and uh, the correct amount you can say uh, it, it helps you to manage uh, business budgeting it helps you to manage product pricing it helps you uh, to manage uh, good decision making so life cycle costing is uh, very good uh, when it comes to costing of a particular asset or costing for your new plant or new machinery or new asset now there is one important thing uh, like uh, most of you might think uh, like uh, how they can uh, use uh, and uh, think of a cost of a particular asset like it is belongs to the future but uh, like uh, there is one important thing for you guys you might use past data to help you create a more accurate cost prediction okay like um, uh, to simply the process starts uh, like with your uh, with your fixed cost and uh, fixed cost for business are the expenses that stay the same from month to month we all know that okay then estimate variable cost which are expenses that change so it helps you to uh, better predict uh, your costing now talking about the purpose related to life cycle costing look there are some reasons like uh, uh, like you want to know and it, it helps you to know an assets total cost and it will lead to you and your business uh, uh, and guide your business uh, to take a better decision uh, so the first uh, reason is choose between two or more assets uh, like uh, using life cycle costing it helps you make purchasing decisions if you only if the only factor uh, in the initial cost of an asset uh, uh, you could end up spending more in the long run for example like buying a used asset might have a lower price tag but it could cost you more in repairs and utility bills than a newer model so it helps you uh, to evaluate between two or more assets uh, life cycle cost management depends on your ability to make a smart investment when you are deciding like uh, between two or more assets it you consider their overall cost not just the price tag in front of you as uh, we already seen a very good example of a car and a photocopy machine as well the second uh, purpose or reason is uh, the assets benefit okay like how do you know if you should buy an asset or not generally you weigh the pros and cons of your purchase but if you only consider the initial short term cost you won't know if the asset will benefit your business financially in the long run or not so by using life cycle costing you can more accurately predict uh, like uh, uh, if the asset return on investment roi is worth the expense so uh, by doing this uh, like uh, if you only look at the assets current purchase cost and don't factor in future cost you will obviously overestimate the return on investment the third reason is uh, like uh, it creates accurate budgets like um, when you know how much an asset's total price is you can create budgets that represent your business actual expenses and that way you won't underestimate your business cost 
So these all are the uh, purpose and reasons uh, like why you, you should use life cycle costing while purchasing, uh, uh, while purchasing a new asset or while evaluating between two or more assets. It helps you. It helps your business uh, to get uh, uh, more profits and uh, it helps your business to get in the right direction. So this is the video for all of you guys. Hope you understand about life cycle costing. If you like this video, thumbs up. Do subscribe our channel, Knowledge Stopper, as well as like our Facebook page. And do join our Facebook group as well. You will find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well. So this is the video for all of you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. It's time to say bye-bye.